Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. You can find me on Instagram at Nicole Makes Plans and you can find my website at NicoleMakesPlans.com. Today I want to do a monthly flip through for February. Definitely filming this a little later than usual, but the end of February and early March so far has been a bit of a planner chaos situation, so hopefully <laughs> we will get back on track here soon. Um, but I want to start with my Stology, which I sent, spent the most time in February with. So this is the monthly layout. Um, kept it pretty simple. Um, keeping track of YouTube videos over here, although I think I fell off. And then um, the kind of like highlights or like most important things of each day here and highlighting the days as I went. You'll notice at the bottom I did not highlight some of these because I was already kind of like working on moving into a different planner so that is why that happened. Some post-it notes down here with just some like reminders. These um, monthly tabs are from um, Hobby Lobby and I put it over some like Avery or Dollar Tree tabs so they were like a little bit bigger and I could move them around if needed. Um, and then this February sticker is from Hobby Lobby. Um, this washi tape is from Jet Pens and then some um, Happy Planner stickers here. So this was like the end of January and early February. The first week was here, week five of the year. And then jump into my dailies. These are the last couple days of January. And then I was figuring out like goals and like tracking progress with stuff. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll just use some pages to kind of keep track of some stuff. But I didn't really like it. So I just crossed through it. Um, did a little bit of journaling here the first day of February. And I have some stickers that are also like Happy Planner of like foods that I ate. So those were fun. These like day stickers are from Etsy from some different shops. If you're interested in them, just comment below and I can find which shop exactly. Um, the number stickers are from Hop or, um, Happy Planner. To do stickers and today stickers are from Happy Planner as well. This washi tape I got from a D stash, so I'm not entirely sure where it's from, but I love it a lot. I love those colors. Second week of February here. A little bit more journaling, more happy planner stickers mostly, more journaling, and then I like to start the week on like a two page spread so if I have like an extra page like after the Sunday of the week prior I just leave it blank. Sometimes I end up going back and using it for notes. I try to keep like a tab so I can know like where um, other notes pages are that I can use. So that's kind of why that looks like that. Week three of February. And usually I migrate these um, post-it notes, but I guess I didn't. And like, I'll just leave them. Valentine's Day. This is a happy planner sticker there. This washi tape is from AliExpress. I really like it. It's a little springy, which like might not be the most February thing in the world, but it was pink and I thought it looked good for the week of Valentine's Day. Same thing here. I just like to start my weekly spread on two pages that are like together. So I just left this one blank and I think that's why I put this tab here in case I needed to go back and have a new note page. Week three of February. And here you can kind of see like trailing off at the end. I didn't go back and kind of like close out this week because by the end of this week, I was already trying to like look for a new planner. <laughs> More washi tape from AliExpress. And then by Sunday the 26th, I was like, okay, next week starts March. I want to like have a full month in whatever next planner I want to use. I think in here, for whatever reason, which is like totally on me, but I was getting like overwhelmed with the stickers for whatever reason. And 
I wasn't journaling as much, so I was like, oh, do I really need all this space? So that, and then it was feeling a little bit like too big to me. And I was also toying with the idea of like taking my planner to work, which I don't, don't usually do, but for some reason I kind of was wanting that. And I have a uh, Motrim cover for B6 Stology, but I don't love it. I'm more of a zip cover kind of person and I don't have um, that type of Motrim for it. So that I did end up uh, setting up March in here and I did film that. I did set up the first week of March or like first partial week and then the end of February. And I kind of like pre-planned that Monday. Um, but I think we can even see like by the Sunday, maybe that was everything I did that day, but maybe not. So then I kind of like left this planner and I might go back to it at some point, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, and then that like last weekend of February, I went to Walmart and I picked up this day designer planner because I had seen it many a time and I thought it was like interesting and I was like, maybe I'm really overwhelmed and I don't actually need a day per page, but I actually think I do, but it was fun to like be in this planner for a week. So I'll kind of show you what I ended up doing. So like this is the March monthly. I did back plan a week just to kind of see if like the most important things I wanted to notate could fit. And it did. Um, except the only issue I would say is that I would prefer the equal amount of space for like Saturday and Sunday as the other days of the week so I did find that annoying and I think that's one of the reasons like I couldn't quite make this work or at least not quite the way I wanted to um so that was like last week of February this is the monthly which I like and I didn't need like necessarily like a whole page to list some other stuff like I could have kept track of like YouTube videos here or up here if I wanted to and then I was basically in this planner for this week. And then I trailed off on this Sunday into something else that we'll get to. Um, but for the most part, I felt like I could keep track of like most of the things I wanted to. There was probably a few other things on some of these days that I would have liked to notate. But I was like, not the end of the world. Do I really need to write it down? Probably not. I do like this like um, bookmark, I guess, that it came with. It's just kind of nice. It's plastic. It reminds me of like some of the happy planner kind of like page marker kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. And I set up the following week in here, um, this current week, but I ended up switching to something else. So I did end up getting a new Hobonichi Weeks. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know at the end of 2022 I got a Hobonichi Weeks Mega and it was like the pink color and I liked it for a while but I tend to find and it's happened twice now so I really need to learn my lesson but I just don't quite love the way the Hobonichi Weeks Mega sits and lays it's not as flat as the regular so I really do prefer the regular and if it were to come down to it, if I were to stay with it and stick with it long enough, if I did run out of notes pages, I would really have no problem setting up a new regular sized weeks in the same year. Like, I don't really care. Um, I like to change planners anyway, so it would work out. Should I stick with it? Who knows what that will happen? So I did get this Hobonichi Weeks um, like cover case wallet thing. I would not actually really use this as a wallet. I like... A really small wallet for myself but it does fit perfectly um, and I do like the zip cover so like I can throw a pen in and I wish I it was big enough to throw a Tombow in but it doesn't quite close but it's enough to at least throw a pen in and I have like everything I need on the go so if I did want to take this to work I could so that's a little bit about this um, and then I'll do a bit of a flip so I didn't bother like do anything in February for here slash this is actually the spring weeks so I couldn't have really set up a monthly really anyway. I guess I could have somewhere if I tried but I didn't. And then I basically back plan this and this because this was the week that I was in the day designer planner 
And then I basically back planned the week, which did I really need to do that? I don't really know, but I did. So I put my dailies in the back in the notes pages. Um, so that's how this looks back here. And I was just highlighting the like main to do's of each day and then notating the rest of the day. And then I set up this current week here. Um, and I actually didn't end up filming a video for it, like a long YouTube video. It was more like I just wanted to film it quickly and get it up. Um, so I did like a quick reel and short that I posted of this week. And that's how all this is gone. So that's kind of my February flip through. It got a little weird at the end, but that's okay with me. Um, it was only a matter of time before like I got sick of the B6 Stology, of course. Um, I do love it. I love the size, but um, it was just time to grow back maybe to something smaller like the Hobonichi Weeks, which I definitely gravitate to every now and again as well. But I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it was a little bit all over the place. Give it a thumbs up if you like flip throughs. Comment below if you have any questions or want me to film any other videos. And subscribe to my channel if you like flip throughs and playing with me videos. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to know the next time I post a video because it's not always on the same day. But thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.